down. So, what we're doing is taking this, grading this out, filling this in here. We're gonna make this completely level. I can drive my Jeep on it. Putting a big retaining wall in where you see the blue line. And this is what was back here now. This is, you can see, this has been five days since it rained. And you can see how muddy that is still. So we're making a new level that's these stones here. We'll put, fill the back, back fill it with aggregate. You can see down here where we have a serious steep angle where it has eroded. And I mean, this is how bad it is. This, folks, this is why you use backfill and your retaining walls. See all that? And then if you walk over here, all this water came down into the pool pump area. In fact, I, I, we bought the house last March and I put all these stones in to kind of help with the uh, water buffering. But all the water comes right down here and then it comes back under the deck and right to the pool pump. So here's what the solution was to fix that. Uh, there's no support post here, so the whole thing sags. You can see if you see that. The whole thing sags. And there's nothing to protect the pump from water besides another pump. So instead of building a retaining wall enclosure around this and then building the deck on top of it, this was the solution. So today we're fixing all this. We're going to fill all this in with aggregate, redo the deck eventually. We're cutting this side of the hill out and leveling it out to about where my trailer is. Putting a retaining wall in that whole area. So eventually that's going to be a retaining wall with a walk up to a gazebo right in the middle. But this is my project for the day. Two days, three days, four days, five days. I don't know. It's my next project though. So check out the next video. It'll be about a halfway point video. Adios.